This week's app of the week is MoveNote. MoveNote is an app that is in the Google Chrome store. Um, it's a great way to uh, create alternative presentations, whether it be a presentation for your students or a presentation um, from your students. So it's um, something very different that you see in Google where you can in in include various formats, uh, whether it be PowerPoint slides or presentations from Google or images or what have you. It has a lot of different options. Um, so, so again, you can find this in the Google Chrome store. When you uh, load Move Note, what it's going to first ask you is, is for access for your camera and your microphone. So you just have to make sure you give it access. You see over here, um, I'm just going to select allow and then close it out. And now you will see me. Hey, and now you're, it gives them access to that. So now you'll see yourself and now you'll be able to record video uh, of yourself speaking um, as well as have your slides and things moving as you're talking about the content. So if I want to add additional slides to this, I just hit the plus sign right in the middle of that slide right there and it gives me two options. I can go to my computer or I can go to my Google Drive. So it gives me those two things where I could do. I'm just going to go to my Google Drive. Remember, this is going to search through all of your drive. So anything that's in your shared with me folders, um, you probably will see those as well. So I'm just going to do a quick search for a uh, presentation that I have created uh, and pull that up and include that as a part of my move note. And once you do that, you'll start to see uh, that process go through and your, your presentation will, will come up. While that's processing, I just wanna mention a few things over here. If you hover over the um, camera and the, the video that's going on over here, you see this little gear here, you can click on that and it gives you just some, some basic settings that you can look at for both your camera and your microphone. So that's something that you can check out at another time. So now that my presentation has loaded, I can go up here and click uh, forward. I can go back and look at all of my slides and see what I like and um, make sure this is what I want. I can hit reorder. So if I want to move things around, I can. If there's something in here where I decide I don't want to include this as part of the presentation, I can just click and drag it over here to the trash can um, to exclude that from the presentation. Once I'm done, I can, I can hit save, okay? And then, and then from here, it's very simple. I'm just going to hit record, and now I can begin recording uh, my presentation. And as, I, as I'm speaking, I can move the presentation along, um, and it will start speaking over the slide, and I can emphasize what I want on each individual slide. So when the reader sees it, or when the viewer sees it, they'll be able to uh, hear the points that I want um, uh, to make sure they understand for each individual page or slide on this particular move note. Um, when you're done, you'll hit the pause button. There'll be a pause button there, and then they'll give you three options. One, you can start over. Uh, two, you can save and preview your move note. Or three, you can resume from where you left off. So it gives you the, the, those options for um, your move note. So um, I'm just going to go to my archive here where I can pull up my previous move notes, ones that, that I've already done. So you can get an idea of what the finished product will look like. So I'm just going to press this and pull this open and then you can see here's a move note, note that I have done and if, if I hit play you'll be able to see it. The great thing about this here is this is what the viewer would see. So down here that they have the slide there so if they wanted to skip directly to slide number four they could do that and then the video would correspond with what I was talking about for slide number four. It gives me various options over here in terms of copying it and pasting. I have a link here that I can share. I have settings where I can add links, change the background, edit my slides, all different kinds of things. I can download the video and then down here are my sharing options and how I can distribute this to other people. So this is a great new method to try um, in terms of using um, presentations in your classroom, again, for either for yourself or for your students. So why don't you guys give it a try. Again, it's Move Note in the Chrome Store. For additional instructional technology resources, including additional App of the Week videos, please visit us at cmslearns.org.